For the assignment matrix in N object tracking, it is important that it has a structure such that it corresponds to a unique valid association. We define the assignment matrix as a matrix of size N by M plus N, and this encodes the N objects, the M detections, and N misdetections. The elements in the assignment matrix are either zero or one, and they encode if an object and a detection or misdetection are assigned or not. The relationship between the association and the assignment matrix is that if we have a detection, then theta i is equal to j, and then the element in A on row i and column j is equal to one. And if we have a misdetection, then theta i is equal to zero, and the element in A on row i and column m plus j is equal to one, and all of the remaining elements in the assignment matrix are zero. So let's consider an example with two objects and one measurement. And then we have three valid data associations. The first data association is that we have two misdetections. So theta one is equal to zero and theta two is equal to zero. It then follows that the element on row one, column two, is equal to one, and the element on row two, column three, is equal to one, and all the remaining elements are zero. A second data association is that object one is associated to the detection. We then have that row one, column one is equal to one, and row two, column three is equal to one, and again, all remaining elements are zero. And the third and last valid association is that object two is associated to the detection. In this case, row one, column two is one, and row two, column one is one, and all remaining elements are zero. So from this example, we can note a structure for the assignment matrix. For all data associations, the elements on row one, column three, and row two, column two, are always zero. For each row, the sum over the columns is equal to one, and for each column, the sum over the rows is either zero or one. And this structure for the assignment matrix has to do with the fact that it needs to correspond to a unique valid association. For a general assignment matrix, it has the structure that is shown here. The left N by M submatrix encodes detections, so assignments between objects and detections. The right N by N submatrix, specifically its diagonal, encodes misdetections. So for the example that we just had a look at with two objects and a single detection, we have that the assignment matrix has the structure shown here with a left two by one submatrix and a right diagonal two by two submatrix. Further, we have that for each row, the sum of the columns must equal one. The reason for this is that an object is either associated to one of the detections or to a misdetection and therefore exactly one of these values in each row must be one. If the sum was equal to zero, then we had not associated anything, which is not a valid association. And if the sum was something larger than one, it means that we had an association to more than one detection, which is not a valid association in point object tracking. Lastly, we have the sum of the rows in each column, and they must be equal to either zero or equal to one. The reason for this is that a detection cannot be associated to more than one object. So this value cannot be larger than one. It can be equal to zero because in a valid data association, there might be measurements that are not associated to any object. Also, if an object is associated to a measurement, then it cannot simultaneously be associated to a misdetection and then the column sum corresponding to the misdetection must be equal to zero. It might seem counterintuitive that we encode the misdetections using this diagonal submatrix, and the reason for having this specific structure can be explained using some examples. If the right submatrix was replaced by a vector, then we would have a problem that at most one object could be misdetected in an assignment. And that means that not all valid associations can be represented by the assignment matrix A. If we consider the example with two objects and one measurement, 
If we have a vector instead of the diagonal submatrix, then we only have two unique assignment matrices. In this case, because of the constraints on how the row sums and the column sums, we cannot use the assignment matrix to encode that both objects are misdetected. And if we replaced the diagonal submatrix with a full matrix, then there would be multiple different assignment matrices that would correspond to the same data association. And that is a problem because we need each unique assignment matrix to correspond to a unique association.